In this video, I'm going to make an air purifier or an air filter out of this 20 inch box fan that I had lying around. This is a junker old box fan, so I'm not super concerned about it. So it's a pretty good use for it. In a previous video, I used the same model box and I affixed a Merv 8, sort of a low end filter to it. Uh, in this video, I'm going to get that same fan, but going to use this high end 3M Filtrate Merv 13 air filter to it. So this is a standard 20 by 20 by one furnace filter model. Like I said, is a Merv 13. So that's high end. It's going to filter down much smaller things. This one's rated for uh, allergens, smoke, and something that would happen in a forest fire, like the very, very small PM 2.5 stuff. Here's the model. It's the 1900. That's the microparticle level. Uh, 3M uses 1900. The kind of universal metric would be called MERV 13. The downside of using a higher end filter like this is it's going to slow down the air more. So it'll put more stress on the fan motor. I've been running the MERV 8 for a few days now with no problems at all. So now I'm going to see how it holds up with this more intense filter. It's going to, like I said, the fan's going to have to work harder and maybe that won't make a difference, but I'm going to have to test it out and keep an eye on it for, for some time to make sure it doesn't cause any problems. What some people do is instead of using one filter on the back of the fan, you could do a sort of a V shape. That way you have two filters, V here and with the cross piece being the fan. So you have twice the airflow to the fan through the filters. It's a more intense build but it definitely makes a lot of sense. I may attempt that if this doesn't work. I'm going to get this two pack of filters and, effect, and attach one to the back. These filters are directional, so you wanna be careful about that. You want the airflow to go in the way the arrow goes. So basically we'll get the fan. This is the front, this is the back. We want the airflow to be facing into the fan. So it's pulling air through here, going out that way. And this is a 20 by 20 box fan with a 20 by 20 filter. Obviously these have a radius here, so it's not gonna be perfect. This is a squared edge, but it's pretty easy to fix with some duct tape. Other people use a, an angle bracket or a coronal bracket here, but you don't really get a good fit. You're better off just using, you know, 20 cents worth of duct tape and calling it a day. One thing I will say about this before we get going is that uh, a Merv 13 filter, they're pretty expensive. This filter is about 20 bucks a pop. Uh, a Merv 8 filter is about $5 each, maybe $6. So it's a really big difference because this filter is probably at this point worth a whole lot more than this fan. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind and think about kind of how much filtration you really need. The corners are tough, so I would just say wrap around the corner here and give it a pull and try to get a good round shape over here. This should just about touch. Okay, so we're all set. It's taped up. I think I have a pretty okay seal here and we'll turn it on, see how it goes. Fan's a little bit out of whack, but uh, that's fine. Okay, the fan's running. It's a little bit out of balance, but it seems to be okay. Uh, I think the blade, one of the blades got a little cracked, but getting pretty good airflow over here. Doesn't seem to be suffering too much. Definitely has some wobble. It's a downside of going with a used fan. Anyway, I'm gonna let it run for a couple hours and we'll see how it does. <laughs> 